Ah, it is good to be back. Bartstown Berman Company has released their Discovery Number no. 11, which continues to showcase their skills of blending different and unique whiskeys found all around the world. Now for Discovery 11, we have a first for the series where Barstown Bourbon Company has included their own estate distilled whiskey in the blend, along with two other bourbons from the bluegrass state of Kentucky. That's right, no Tennessee in Discovery 11. Glad to be back, stay tuned, it's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Mass and Drum and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, help grow the channel for 2023. Last week guys, I was fighting a cold, I was traveling, I went to Bourbon on the Banks uh, just this past weekend in Kentucky. So it's it's been, a, it's been a long week and a half, but glad to be back and talking some bourbon with you guys. A bunch of fall releases have been dropping, like it happens each and every year. So a lot of fun content coming for you guys. All right, let's talk about Discovery Batch 11. Over the years, we have seen the Discovery series utilize whiskeys from Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, Georgia, and even Ontario, Canada. Discovery number 11 is the first time since Discovery number four that the series is featuring all Kentucky bourbons. Dan Calloway, VP of Product Development for Bardstown Bourbon Company, said that we used our bottled and bond recipe from the new origin series of our estate distilled bourbon. However, we wanted to explore a different take so the whiskey is aged its entire life in French oak barrels as opposed to the traditional American oak. Calloway added, on their own, these stood as three tremendous bourbons, but some real magic occurred when they came together. So take a look at the full blend components, guys, which includes 73% of a 13-year Kentucky bourbon with a 75-13-12 mash bill, 21% of a 10-year Kentucky bourbon with a 78-13-9 mash bill, along with their six-year French Oak Age Origin Series, which is a weeded bourbon. So to cap it off, Discovery number 11 is bottled at 118.1 proof and offered at an SRP of $139.99. Now, collectively, there will be about 3,000 9 liter cases, which will be available through the Bartstown Bourbon Company gift shop at retailers in 24 states and online at sealbox.com. Let's dive in. So Bartstown keeps the distilleries kind of close to the vest as far as the components of each blend for Discovery series. But when I saw that mash bill and it's 73% of the blend, I'm just saying, I got a little excited about it, so you could probably guess what that distillery is. So let's dive in, guys. Here we go. The nose on this is fantastic. Immediately, you get hit with toffee and cherry, and I mean, it just jumps out of the glass. And have brown sugar for days. Man, creme brulee, vanilla. There's some really nice spice here from the French oak, I think, too. A little bit of clove, cinnamon. Very baking spice heavy. It's a really nice nose, very balanced. Yeah, that, that dark fruit's really kind of, really coming through, kind of a candy apple a little bit coming through too. You know, again, blends evolve over time, so we'll see how this one changes, but so far, first impression's pretty good. Here we go. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm rediscovering discovery. Rediscovering discovery, that's right. I mean, well, as I mentioned, you gotta go back all the way to Discovery 4, which was, I think, one of my favorite discoveries of all time, you know, to, to kind of get that all Kentucky bourbon type of uh, flavor profile, and it brings it. Everything I said on the nose is really coming through on the palate here, guys. I think this is one of those bourbons where the nose matches the palate. You get spice, you get a lot of dark fruit, you get cherry cordial, there's also toffee, cinnamon, baking spice, I mean, this thing just explodes on the palate. This is really good. I love that Barstown Bourbon Company kind of went back to this. You know, I, I you know I love experimentation. I love that you know we get to see different blends. But man, you go back to basics sometimes. You just do all Kentucky, and man, I think a lot of people are gonna like this one. It's just getting sweeter and sweeter when I go back to it. There's so much cinnamon here for me. Uh, that that spice from that French oak is really coming through. A little bit of nuttiness as well. I think on the very back end, almost kind of like an almond uh, type note to it. It's not the biggest punch you in the face bourbon. I mean, you're looking at 118 proof. It's a really good proof point. I think it drinks less than it's proof. However, there's some really nice spice there. And it is consistent, which is my favorite. This thing hits you on 
front of the palette, mid palette, and finish every time you go back to it. The best part, I think, is the finish. It lingers, it's spicy. Discovery's back, man. Not that it ever left. I'm just saying. A lot of the discoveries that were coming out with some, you know, different blends of different whiskeys, I mean, that's always fun and all, but, you know, a lot of people's gripe were the, was the use of Tennessee whiskey in the blends. Again, no Tennessee. This is all Kentucky, featuring 73% of a 13-year Kentucky bourbon, and I think, I think it shows. So when I first tried this, I was a little bit skeptical because it's been such a long time since we've seen Barstown just do pure Kentucky, uh, pure Kentucky blend, and they have not forgotten how to blend some good Kentucky whiskey. This is delicious. All right, last sip here. Yeah, the star of the show here, guys, is the spice. It's front to back. It's it's almost effervescent. It hits you from the front of the tongue to the back of the tongue. Hits you with all that toffee and sweetness up front. A little bit of citrusy, a little bit of nuttiness too. Again, that almond kind of kicks in. But then once it hits mid to back palate, cinnamon, spice, black pepper, a lot of sweet, that candy apple note comes in. This is gonna be easy one, final breakdown. All right, final breakdown of the Discovery Series number 11 from Barstown Berman Company. You have a price, an SRP, of $139.99, so let's call it $140. Secondary price markup, you don't really see these marked up too much. Availability on this, I'll say average. It's 3,000 cases. I'm not going to say there's going to be a ton of it, uh, but it is going to be spread out over the course of about 24 states and online retailers and, of course, Barstown Berman Company. So availability will be about average. Value for this one, I'm going to say, is even. I love the flavors of this bottle. I love the fact that 73% of it is a 13-year-old product. Um, I love the proof of it. Love the flavors. I'm going to say value here is even for the price. Uh, the most I pay here, I'm probably going to go with uh, retail. I think $140 is plenty for this bottle. Wouldn't go higher than that. Alternatives for this bottle. I mean, when you talk about blended bourbons using some different distillates, you know, you can always think about Barrel Craft Spirits. Um, I think K. Luke does a great job here as far as an alternative as well. You could go with the Remus Repeal series. However, I think this is a lot better than the Remus 7 this year. So there are a lot of good blended whiskeys out there. And lastly, is this a skip? Is it a try before you buy? Is it a buy? Is it a buy and back it up? For me, this one's a buy. This could potentially become a buy and back it up depending on how this opens up. If it stays true and it stays this consistent the more I sip it, I may back this one up uh, just because of that 73% of that 13 year Kentucky bourbon. Uh, from one of my favorite distillers is in this bottle. With that said, I do think this is a buy. Again, no Tennessee whiskey in the blend. They're using some really good distillate in here. The balance is amazing. The flavors are great. Discovery is back, everybody. This one, I think a lot of people are going to absolutely love. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review for the new Discovery Series number 11. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about this one. It does... Being an all Kentucky blend, bring you back into the fold. Have you skipped the last few because either Tennessee whiskey being in it or something else that you weren't, you know, maybe too crazy about? Is this going to be one that you're going to, you know, pick up? Because honestly, the flavors are great here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. See you next time right here on the Master Drum. Got a lot of good stuff coming, guys. Stay tuned.